today is the day that we break in our brand new truck, the Shelby Super Snake. And this sucker did come with a mandatory break-in procedure card that basically tells us what not to do in order to not void the warranty of this sucker right here, which we don't want to do that. But also, we want to break this sucker in as soon as possible. And riding around town really is not going to cut it. So we decided that the best thing to do is go on a little road trip. We found the perfect spot in Florida, so it's going to be a beautiful scenic drive. Maybe we'll relax for one day or something. So we're going to go ahead, head out over there. And once we get back, we should be able to hit 1500 miles and then go to the dealership and do that oil change and be able to release all those ponies that this sucker has. And good thing that it did come with this card because we about lifted this sucker up on the lift and put a rock on the gas pedal and ran it for a couple hours. But that's basically using cruise control and that tells us not to do that. Or we were thinking about maybe putting it on a dyno. So same thing guys, but <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go on this road trip and uh, hit 1500 miles and hopefully here soon, we can show you guys what this thing is about. How are you? Good. Do you have your driver's license, sir? I do. Now, it stops. You got you going 88 and 70. I was not paying attention. Any risk going that fast, sir? Honestly, this truck is brand new, and I'm trying to break it in. I can't use uh, cruise control, so I'm kind of having to push, let go, push, let go, because it has a 1,500-mile break-in period. Honestly, that's kind of one of the reasons, but... Wow. You can't... Why can't you use cruise control? Because whenever you leave it at one RPM for too long, the engine can... It can get ruined. Um, break in procedure. Don't you, you can't use cruise control. Do not use cruise control. Wow, can't accelerate hard. So, I really, I honestly was not looking at it, I was kind of just looking at the RPM going up and down. And I'm trying to hit 1500 miles, so we're going on a little Florida trip. Oh, okay, so, so you're just you're just going on a trip to hit the miles, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, give me a second, I'll be right okay. back. All right, yes. Well, let's see what happens. All right, sir, here's your information back. Thank okay, you. so I did write you a speeding ticket just because you're doing 18 over. That's way too fast. Nice Sorry. truck, though, man. I've never right? seen one like it. Thank you, man. Yeah. Take Have care. All righty. Well, shoot, guys. 88 and 70. Honestly, I really was trying to, like, go up and down with the RPM. I wasn't watching the speed. But you know what? I take all responsibility. I was speeding, and he wrote us a ticket. But he was super nice. I honestly thought he was going to let us go. But they get you like that. They act nice. They write you a ticket. The cops that are mean. They give you a scare and then they let you go. guys so we made it out here to florida and excuse the no shirt i mean it is just hot and muggy out here but you know what shelby made it out here and it has 700 miles on it currently and we're just gonna chill out here for maybe one day might as well guys we made it out here to florida the weather turned out to be beautiful so we're just gonna probably cruise the golf cart around a little bit just enjoy it might as well you know we made the trip out here and uh, you know what, we're getting super close to that 1500 mile mark. So once we get back to Tennessee, we should have exactly, I think 1500 miles already scheduled in the oil change with the dealership. So they're excited actually for us to pull up over there, do the oil change and we'll do maybe a fat burnout out the dealership. We'll see. Sixty-three, right there. M Tank from Mississippi. 
That's such a sick car. You guys already know what that thing is capable of. Would love to get one for the channel, possibly rebuild one. But as you guys can tell, we're cruising. We should be cruising the Shelby right now, but the golf carts are so fun to just cruise around here in Florida. So we're just kind of cruising around. About to uh, probably have some uh, dinner right quick. And then I think we're gonna probably head back to Tennessee and uh, hopefully get that oil change. miscalculated and we didn't have enough miles so we had to take a little detour instead of heading to home towards Chattanooga we headed towards Nashville and we had a little bit of lunch here and also we stopped at Ferrari over here in Nashville and they got some super epic stuff but right now on the dash we got 1250 miles so as soon as we get back home we should have right under 1500 and then when we make it to the dealership we'll have 1500 miles so let's head back home and get this sucker serviced Just like that guys, we are here at the Ford dealership after hitting 1500 miles and I'm just chilling next to all of these beautiful Shelby's over here. This is the one that we could have potentially got, but you know what, I have no regrets. The Avalanche is the way to go. But guys, believe it or not, it's super hard to hit 1500 miles. We actually had to take a little extra trip to like Chill Howie Mountain. It's like a scenic local place around here just to get another 100 miles. And once I got home, we still weren't at 1500 and on the way to the Ford dealership, finally hit 1500 and the truck is currently getting an oil change and we're gonna be able to release all those 775 ponies after it comes out. So I'm super excited about that. And also I was kind of curious about the whole break-in process. I mean, that's what we're doing here. We're, we went on a whole road trip just to break this sucker in. So I actually wanted to film some of the oil change, but they weren't, they didn't really want us to do that. But you know what? They might give us a little oil sample to see what's going on with that oil. Might find some little metal shavings in there. I mean, that's what the, the break-in period is all about. So anyways, guys, the truck is about to come on out and we're gonna go ahead and let this sucker rip. Thank you, sir. That is your oil right there. Wow. Any, any metal shavings in it? No. That looks beautiful. We are ready to scoot, guys. Ready to scoot on out of here. I actually just found out that I wasn't in sport mode. There is sport mode. There we go. Halfway put together SRT. It's a Hellcat. Oh, dude, it's scooting. What is this? That's oil that came out of there. 
So I got a little sample of what? it when I went this morning. And that's the oh, and there's any metal in there? <laughs> no metal shavings. That's what they said. So, like, dip your finger in there. Maybe put it in the sunlight. Let's see if we see anything. It's clean. It looks no, brand it's clean. Spanking new. But you know what, guys? We officially have broken in the Shelby. I did a few minor pulls. That's, that's from the good. dealership. Might dude. as well warm up on it. How did it feel, dude? It's absolutely insane. I didn't even have it in sport mode at the dealership. I was gonna try to show off a little bit. Hey. And it was kind of weak, but then once once you switch to sport mode, it's insane, really? dude. dude. This is gonna be crazy right here. I mean, you did that trip right there, got us to fifteen hundred miles. How much miles does it has on it right now? Right now, fifteen hundred, a little bit, and some change. Oh, okay, dude. And I was hoping, I was planning this. Out, I was hoping we were gonna go racing this versus the TRX, and it looks like while I was out of town, you were breaking stuff. Dude, TRX broke. I don't know what's wrong with the rear axle. Um, it's making some weird noises, and it's something to do with the four by four system. So we're gonna. Have to figure that out we may have to take it to the dealer and see what they can figure out on it because i don't know what's going on i think i just rip it a little too hard every day <laughs> that, that is right right there but pops good oil yeah but uh, very good oil because if you have some you know, like this color mm -hmm. and if you have some smell like burn it's a bad oh give it a this smell one, this one oh, he smelled it right away this one good this one good smell you know awesome you know what? That means we're ready yeah. to find That's the good. nearest parking lot and shred some dude, asphalt. Dude. I just want to do a burn down on it. It just it burns out so easy, you know. I just want to whip it one time. Just want to do one whip right Trash here. Traction control dude. off and everything. Yeah, everything's off. I did lock the rear axle, which is you know it's a smart thing to do. You know. Yeah. You want and we are on a private property lot over here. So. Private course right here, this just for us course. right Heck here. Yeah, this is perfect there's right two, here. There's two street lights right there. We got to be careful of you know. Oh, the tires are sticky. <laughs> It's so easy to slide. It's like you can control the drift. You know what I mean? Like you no can way, dude, take it to a drift course, honestly, dude. No way, dude. You know what I'm saying, like, did you see? I was just relaxing in these comfy seats. The thing was just spinning. I am chopping screwed. R.I.P. to Pimp C. You think I was from Texas, but I come from Tennessee. We party all night and we own a Hennessy. I want a Cardi B, but I'll settle for a Hennessy. Like my brother from the Ville, I'm real tipsy. I'm with the gang. We just hop. That kind of scared me. <laughs> the pole in that car. Right I know there. that car kind of scared me. The pole, I wasn't too worried about. Hey, it's still in first gear. Maybe we should I, try. I switched to second. Oh, okay, perfect. That's, that's why I went so wild because I switched to second and it kind of threw me a little further out. Dude, that's perfect, dude. That, that was some big drifts right there. That, those aren't even donuts, man. That's a drift, man. We need to make a little drift course out dude, here. That dude, that gets your heart pumping right there, dude. I absolutely Don't love it feel that right good, dude? It feels so good, man. I want to become a drift car driver. That's why I, I'm <laughs> honestly saying, dude, I don't think any truck can do that. I don't think that TRX will be able no, to drift sir. like that since it's all-wheel drive. I don't think any other truck can drift this good. <laughs> Take a couple shots, then my screws loose. And it's a nineties party, we gon' raise a roof. To all the bad girls to come to the booth. Party all night, we get all the juice. I took a couple shots, then my screws loose. Dude, this is the funnest truck I've ever been in. Dude, this is, truck can do that, dude. That's what I'm saying. This is the ultimate truck. I mean, this thing's smooth. I'm sitting here passenger. You can have two more passengers back there chilling as well. <laughs> Drifting. Yeah, the waters are dude. still, you know, they're not, nothing's wobbling smooth. I think this thing is perfect setup for drifting dude drifting drag racing working we still gotta dude, do some drags on this thing the perfect all-around truck that's dude. what i'm saying go drift it and then take it to work <laughs> <laughs> oh they're still good man they're brand new
Right now, we're gonna do a zero to 60 launch in manual, manual mode. mode. Are you ready? Yes, sir. We'll do a little bit of school. That was 60 right oh, there. Oh my god. Dude, that was quick, dude. dude. That was like in, I don't know, like two something seconds? Who knows, man? I don't know the zero to 60, but that right there, that was fast. You sometimes you just gotta do it for America, Pops. at all dude i love this thing even more now man on the road on the highway dude this thing is just smooth you still can't feel the trailer back no there way, dude, the dude. power you put it in tow and haul mode and it drives like a regular f-150 man dude what about them burnouts dude, right there the dude? sickest rolling burnouts ever i mean i i've never done ro rolling burnouts w while hauling something man this thing just it does it without nothing dude just a little tap and you're good to go i man. wonder what it would do with all wheel drive no traction in a bar burnout what It'll do you probably think probably do all wheel drive burnout dude why didn't you try that dude uh, hey we can try that a little bit later it was a little rainy so it was perfect you know it has that lubrication to do them burnouts right there dude, man. let's go back out there definitely the ultimate truck right here guys the shelby super snake you guys seen what it can do just without a trailer with the trailer all around this is just one of the most epic trucks we have ever owned right here and we're super happy to have it on the channel and we might even do a few more things to it so definitely drop your comments and thoughts down below we might add some more horsepower i don't think it needs it but you know what is it is it ever enough to have i don't think there's a horsepower such, there's a such thing as never enough much. it's never enough horsepower but anyways guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video thank you guys so much for all the love and support winner for the huracan will be getting announced here really soon stay tuned but with all that being said we'll catch you guys next time Peace.